now hi how are you doing i am doing well how, how you about doing? you i'm doing good as well thank you for asking okay yeah so this is your first session with me and have you had more sessions with clapping over before yeah i have already scored a century oh my god that is great <laughs> i really appreciate the consistency earlier also i had a, i had booked a session but i think it was cancelled by whom i don't know maybe you or clapping over uh, okay it uh, got cancelled at the time you had a separate i mean uh, the uh, current uh, dp was not there there was another dp i could not yeah, recognize you <laughs> yeah i know i don't know why um, maybe there was a glitch in the system and they added a stock photo or something like that because i was not using clapping over for like a month or so and oh, my okay. account was dormant so maybe they decided to add a stock photo to it okay okay so please tell me about you something what where are you from what do you do about me <laughs> yeah so like i'm sitting on the hot seat and mr abita bachan is like asking me <laughs> questions like where are you from <laughs> uh, i am from bhopal and i mean yeah that's about it i am a post graduate in commerce and i'm currently um employed with clapping only so yeah that's about it do you like playing games like do you still play games with your family or with your friends yeah i used to play games uh, even two years back i can say i was uh, very much uh, involved in games like carrom board because in our office we have a recreation class and there we play carrom but since the uh, beginning of this coronavirus uh, mm -hmm. there is no everything is has stopped yeah i mean i think in covid like my family we started playing games because of covid because we had nothing wow. else to do in the evening everybody was free usually by the evening or really early in the morning okay so you uh, during covid you have got this idea that is playing game and during yeah. covid i have found flipping go <laughs> oh okay <laughs> i mean that is also because um, for the first time after 25 years or so my father was at home all the time otherwise he is always at work yes yes that's right so, yeah uh, this was a, like playing games is such a great opportunity to connect with people yeah we can say also like this that a uh, blessing in these guys also somewhat that is due to this we are getting our family members we are uh, we happen to be together after so many years yes yes true so which games did you usually play before covid yeah we used to play uh, this uh, carrom carrom board and for right. this also yeah and during uh, i mean um, i'm uh, in indian audit and accounts department so they are was uh, every two years one okay. tournament is held among that department say so we got a chance to go other places in india for playing there was another benefit for us <laughs> wow oh my god only if i had this opportunity back in school because our school was um i would say it was a conservative school so we did not go to other schools or to other states to play except for clusters but that was strictly sports not game that was like hardcore sports people who used to play javelin throw short put kho 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 basketball they used to get an opportunity okay yeah Wow, that is such a nice thing. Like when you're working and you're getting an opportunity to play games around the country. Yes, uh, anyhow, say Mumbai, Delhi, Shimla, uh, Kolkata, even Bhopal, like this. Yeah. Wow. 
I will tell me the name of your organization. I will apply for a job there only. Like this is Indian audit, uh, Indian audit and accounts department, and you can uh, join this department through SSC. Through you SSC. know about uh, yeah, you know about CGL, I think. I, I beg your pardon. CGL combined graduate level exam. No, I don't know about that. This is. Uh, this uh, uh, conducted by the ssc staff selection commission okay so through their uh, through uh, that exam one can get uh, into this department and for the higher post through upsc yeah i know that there are exams conducted by upsc but those are like strictly competitive exams and uh, those are not necessarily just for jobs these are for courses right for specialization in certain courses and ias ips services and stuff yes, like that yes. but i didn't know that ssc has common graduate level exams also that is good to hear i am just noting yeah, if you are uh, if you are looking for a government job as you told me then it is surprising that you don't know about cgl really actually I'll, yeah i'll tell you what i am also pursuing chartered accountancy Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So I didn't think about researching about other exams because once I become a chartered accountant, then I'm automatically eligible for a lot of courses, even in government jobs. Yeah, yeah. If you are passing uh, this course, chartered accountant, then why you should go for all these things? There is no exactly. need. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, are you in article ship now? No, I have completed my article ship. Pardon? I have completed my article. Oh, you yeah, have completed. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you are involved in a chartered accountant firm, and you were and for so many audit things also. Yeah, I have done that. I have done audits for government organizations like NSIC. Uh, do you know about NSIC? National Small Industries Corporation. It, okay. Yeah, and I have done audits for SBI, uh, one of the branches of SBI. So I I am really attracted to government posts because I like the social status and the salary and the every all the perquisites that come with having a government job. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot of benefits. So at what point you are now? I mean, uh, uh, you you have completed some groups uh, papers. I I will be appearing for my exams soon. I will be okay. appearing for my first time. Okay. So, yeah. did you ever think about ICW also? No, because I was not aware of ICW. I was aware of only CA or CS. Combined CA. Okay. Yeah, because if in Bhopal, like CA and CS are the most pursued courses after any college or graduation course. Like these are the only competitive courses for commerce students. Uh, and or they go for uh, ssc exams or exams conducted by upsc like there are not many people who go for icwa or even for like army services i i researched about army entrance exams like 2 years ago and then i realized that i have missed a lot of the age uh, thresholds because they okay. take admission before 21 yes yes yeah, yeah. right mm -hmm. so anyway there should be more awareness about all of this at school level like students are not taught uh, do you enjoy uh, auditing i think you are enjoying as you i love auditing auditing is like the easiest because i have a background for law so i am good with theory and i am good with compliance procedures like i am not good at practicals but i am good with compliance so it is like it is fun because there is something new in each audit that you get to learn and explore yes it is in boring like since since you are in an accounting institution like you are working for an accounting organization you i think you will relate that accounting is also fun like because everybody follows a different system in india there is not no one stable system across the country okay. so yeah every place is different Anyway, we've talked a lot about my profession. <laughs> I think we might be bored by this point. Actually, I am also commerce background, so I took the took interest in it. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> By the way, I made a mistake, and um, I have to correct myself and you. When we refer to the COVID nineteen situation, we usually use the term pandemic. So instead of saying before COVID or after COVID, we usually use the word pandemic. So before pandemic or after pandemic, because the pandemic is an event. COVID nineteen yes, yes. is a type of infection or the type of virus because of which the pandemic happened. Okay, okay. Once uh, I was also uh, corrected by another tutor. Mm, yeah. At the time, I said that COVID situation. I said like COVID situation. Then she corrected me. COVID, not COVID situation. COVID uh, mean itself. Uh, uh, sorry, mm. pandemic situation. So I said yeah. to her, pandemic situation. Then she told me, no, no, pandemic is itself a situation. So you don't have to say again situation. So she corrected yeah. me. Yeah. Even I remember that in the actually at home also like there is nobody else who speaks English with me. So in the flow of uh, the vernacular language, we usually use the word COVID or COVID nineteen or or Corona. Even Corona is also wrong because the official term for the virus is COVID nineteen. Yes. And yeah, it shouldn't be. Nineteen is for two thousand nineteen, is not it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because it started in that year, so it has been given the name COVID nineteen. so you could either use covid when you're referring to somebody being sick you could say like this person has covid or this person is at the hospital because of covid but when we are referring to the event or a time in uh, the span of life we usually use the word pandemic like before pandemic after pandemic or i lost my job because of the pandemic or i got a job during pandemic mm mm-hmm. during yes. the pandemic would be a better expression because it is uh, an event like a fixed event it has a specific time span yes yeah uh, attached to it so that is the only thing that i think i could point out so far otherwise if everything is fine you could do you have any other questions or like would you like me to help you with anything else because like if you have any specific doubts like do you maintain a diary or something with like questions or no i diary? don't maintain a diary but uh, whatever new words i that uh, i come across i just google yeah. it and out of finding the words i just take a screenshot and then keep it in my mobile so whenever i feel like i can see it. and that's how i am doing it now yeah that is great like one exercise that really helped me growing up was that first i used to struggle earlier to find words in english because i used to translate from hindi to english in my mind and then speak out the sentences yes 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 so, what i started doing was when i found a word in english for the emotion or the expression that i was trying to um, get across i uh, started uh, looking for synonyms of those mm-hmm. words mm-hmm. so that like so that i could uh, overcome redundancy in my speech and i could use different words to express the same meaning and it just sounds more posh and yes. polished right? you just sound more professional yes sir and even if you can use some phrases that also make it very good yeah even if you are making grammatical mistakes but you're using better words and you're using phrases it mm-hmm. just makes you sound better and people yes. assume that you are a master in the language <laughs> yeah which is sad because then people are judging you by how english you sound <laughs> so english is also ambiguous like english is the language and then the people who are from england or european places they call it so you can uh, share me some of the phrases that you use generally in every i Yeah. yeah so one of the phrases that i actually do use and it is also mentioned in the session material for today's session is it's all fun and games so okay. when anybody asks me about my profession they're like yeah ca might be something like anybody starts pursuing ca after 12 i'm like it's all fun and games until you start article shit that's when you realize <laughs> okay it's a tough uh, profession no profession is easy right she is very tough i know she is very tough yeah so one of the once you have done she you have done something big 
Yeah, it's like once I become a Tata Tagant, and I think half of my body weight would be lost. Like all the tension that I'm storing in my body and my brain would be relieved. <laughs> yeah, it's really tough. Yeah, yeah. So one of the expressions is fun and games that I really mm-hmm. use. Mm-hmm. I use often, and I try to use words uh, which express a different range of emotions instead of adding very. in front of every adjective instead of saying very beautiful i just say mesmerizing okay or uh, instead of saying very tasty i just try using word like scrumptious or delectable delicious delicious yeah delicious, yeah, delicious okay. is a great word mm-hmm. so i even try doing that instead of using very and like i try to use better words any other expressions and like there are very ba- i mean there are basic exception uh, expressions like it's raining cats and dogs that that's like something that's that about raining about raining yeah about yeah yeah and there are expressions for the wind also to describe the wind the breeze and then when it's howling like yeah. different ranges of the weather that you're trying to express Mm-hmm. that is really useful actually because you can use it in everyday conversation with anybody yeah which expressions do you usually use that one is instead of saying usually usually uh, more often than not oh that is great yeah that's a good expression and and right now i actually i hardly get to talk with anybody only in a clipping i am doing that's why i am not uh, but i have collected or i have studied so many uh, pages so i can share you one that uh, take something with a pinch of salt yeah say some you know that one yeah if somebody say oh, something and if you completely uh, don't believe him or her then you can say she said she said me this thing but i took it with a pinch of salt that is you did not yeah. completely believe him so this is a nice one yeah that's a nice expression so there are so many things like firing on all cylinders so you are putting on much effort to do something so uh, say in a game in a competition so yeah. in order to win the game i fired on all the cylinders like this yeah. so there are so many things but we are yeah. hardly get to use <laughs> i hardly get to use them 